All right, welcome to Smoke Improved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are here to continue our Ms. Mixtape. This is going to be live audio. Again, I don't know why I keep pulling up this video. I need to just go get the English sub because it just keeps saying audio. I think I come here so I can, like, know I'm what play order I'm in in the album so I can, like, do it properly all the way through, but I never get the, the subs. Like, why don't they never have the sub, y'all? Don't play the record. No, no. Don't do that to me. Yeah, shout out to the man at Dial 6137. So, yeah, all right. We got the correct video. Thank you for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. And let's get into this. How's everybody feeling out there today? I hope everybody's feeling good. Big life records. That's the thing I probably noticed the most about where he rhymes today versus where he rhymed in the past is very much like myself with my older music. I use so many extra words to say what I was trying to say versus he can say everything he needs to say in down to one word or up to three. Like he can very minimalistically say a large statement with very few words. And that comes from learning one, how to self edit yourself, but also learning how to distill the particular message or meaning that you want to say with the words that you're choosing. Because the more I listen to this project, I can see his influences in this project, but I can also see like the early stages of somebody that turned into what he turns into. Because like now, like, Boy self edits at a high degree and is very direct with everything that he's saying. It's like there's a lot of wasted words in the translation. I don't actually know in directly Korean, but in the translation, I see a lot of wasted words that you could strip away like thes and yes and certain things in certain places and still get the same meaning from the statements that he's saying. And that's where I'm like, I can see that through only the translation i feel like i can kind of feel the same way with if i was to understand it in korean and like the deeper nuances actually by knowing korean <laughs> that's dark as shit cuz <laughs> that's dark as fuck everyone is guaranteed to die which makes life more beautiful <sighs> That shit is bleak. He's not wrong, but god damn it, is that shit dark. We're going to check out that Cheek Clapper song. However, I'm an adult. I have to admit I was wrong. Because on a classic hip-hop, like 90s style hip-hop, R&B, and like slow jams, like mixes, like if, uh, if you know like who Children of Zeus are, is, or excuse is it is or are? Yeah, Children of Zeus, if you know who they are, and you listen to NTS radio, you could clap cheek to this. I know this is like completely side, but I have to keep it a hundred because he's my dog. I say he had no cheek clappers. Technically in the right mix, if he if he's doing things like this with how this hook is set up, it would not disturb the mood. It's chill enough, I would assume. I wouldn't be like, all right, this is calm. I wouldn't be like, ah, oh, fuck, like I hope this record ends. I hope this record ends. <laughs> 
Is that him on the hook singing this? Siri, what is a Declamani? The girl, you did not find me nothing. Stop it. What? Now I gotta spell this shit. God damn it. What the? Boy, you got me using Google. God damn it. I don't know why I'm fucking such a fucking word nerd like this. Talk much you use the fucking word. I don't know. The process of transferring design from prepared paper onto glass or porcelain. God, dog, oh, that's a flex, cuz. Oh, that's a flex. The world is just one page of. Oh, oh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard, actually. Imprint your own fucking, like, design or, like, leave your mark on the world, essentially, is what the cuz is trying to say. But that's, like, a fancy, like, bougie wordy nigga way to say that's that's uh, some real rapper shit i see why Nas is his man because that would be like a Nas line that's for sure how Nas would put like that's how Nas is coming for a punch there's a rarefied air that one must understand to be able to get the fucking layers on this one this is a this is a that's a bar even through translation that bitch is quite heavy <laughs> That's a bar. That's a bar. I wish I could understand that one in Korea. Hold on. We have to burn ourselves up because the world is so cold. That's a bar. That's a bar. I'm out here cooking to survive. Oh, that's good. That's good. See, I'm glad I waited Cause I'm like Reading in the vacuum right there Cause it does read like a bar Cause I'm like I'm that petty So like I'm quite aggressive With some words I'll choose in a song So like Fuck all that piece of love shit Like Like I've got bars Where I'm like I'm not waiting for motherfucking Like God or fucking Somebody to Karma to come fix this shit Fuck you talking about Cut Come see me I'm on smoke So When I seen that in the vacuum I was like Ah oh, yeah that's it But I was like But it doesn't read right like i need the whole like section and then later he like flips it where he's like nah like using those type of ideals to justify certain things is just like that's also part of the problem of the shit i'm trying to fucking like prevent or like preach against because like again just don't be a dickhead like just be nice it's all right oh that's oh, come on Kyle. That's a, the, come on. That's like some, this is for sure Taoism. This is cultivating stillness at its highest level right here. I'm merely a breeze that passes someone by. This is how you stay liquid, folks. What the fuck? This is a good one. Shout out to them, man. That, what them, man. Shout out to this nigga. That boy, that's a bar. There's three quality ass, not like the other bars aren't quality, but like ones that I would feel like, 
these are the type of like verses or stuff for me as like a rap fan that make me enjoy being able to do this is because this is a level of writing that if you actually are gonna sit and take the time and like be like a nippy dickhead like me and be like, Oh well let's see if Cus can rap and then I'm really paying attention like these are why like all right if i'm gonna mine through all this fucking shit i find things that make it actually worth it because it actually is good music and then you find shit like this you can't tell me if you're a rapper you hear cuz say some shit i'm merely a breeze that passes someone by that's poetic cuz that's some levels on writing that through translation on a secondary language that is actually quite shit to have to translate into because it's not as poetic as other languages that's pretty good to still land where he's landing because that should probably sound even crazier in Korean. Ah, fuck. Wish I could understand Korean. I wish it's like, if we could do cybernetics to where I could just get every word language, that's the one time I might let that man chip me. Until then, I don't see the need. But if I get every word language just off that, like, come on, cut. Throw that in there real quick. Update my hard drive blood. I need to be able to speak fucking... Oh, what the fuck do they speak in Botswana? Shout out to them, man. I don't need to know that. What are they speaking in fucking Suriname? Shout out to them, man. Fucking, where the fuck is someplace? What, what the fuck are they speaking in Papua New Guinea? How about I'd like to know and be able to speak it? I, God, God damn, I won't be able to speak a lot of languages. Man, that was so laughing. <laughs> I feel like I'm producing this song, Sam, in the studio. This was a wrong production choice. This was a, with no disrespect, it evokes the thing he's trying to evoke, which is, he's talking about death, so he puts a darker note on it. But you open the song up with trying to teach us the beautifulness in death, how there is a beautiful side in us being born and us dying, and if we can find a better comfort with that. So then to kind of flip that on its head at the end with using a darker voice texture when you pitch the vocal down to make that tone i get why we did it but i feel like we should have made it bright because that then just pushes forth the concept of what you was doing in the beginning of the song this is why i'm like these are the rare places in the production elements of the song that i feel like i can see the younger rm versus in today's music production factory where he's working now these choices well thought out in the past i think he would have probably connected those two dots a little bit more or he just do whatever fuck he wants because in the, the day it's cut song and i'm just fucking thinking about it how i would have gone through this if i was in the studio working with an artist and when these requests from the artist are like we'll make the vocal deeper so it can like evoke this type of emotion because like we're talking about death that's the whole reason we've made this choice i would have then rebuffed with like kind of like you did say xyz here like you do know you're now stating another implied meaning here if you do xyz that's where i would say i can see the distance in the two artists yet they'd be the same person when covering this solo work from rm but it's really good though because it's high level shit is very detailed these are the things that when you're making a project if you don't take this type of time i don't think you make the good music that people want to listen to because these are the things that we're going to have conversations about that people are going to either agree or disagree or just tell me i'm fucking full of fluff it's perfectly fine that's the beauty of the music it was good enough that motherfucker not i don't agree you don't agree they don't agree but you know what we do agree on that motherfucker was cold can't can't fight that part. That's why I say it's, it's got to be quality at that point. That's a good one too. The name tag attached to my life. 
Support the good ones. That's such a good strong melody. That's a great top line. That's a good top line, cuzzy. Yeah, like how you did the brother who's dark. Like you're singing a higher melody despite talking about a thing that is perceived to be lower, like dark or like just like he did it in the hook. Maybe that's why he's like I already did that. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. This fucking hook like I, the fucking hook is probably my favorite part of this fucking song. Like the fucking way it's sung, the way it sits on the beat, the melody line is fucking cold. Then yeah, bring that bitch back. Reload that. Vibes. I wouldn't add it to the bedroom mix. I'm not doing that because that mix is very particular. But if the man and children of Zeus want to add a thing, this would be a good one to add. It would be a really good one. It would work right in the mix. And that's with some heavy hitters. That's like back in the day of the man, like Method Man and Mary and that. Like this would work in that mix. The only problem with that is it would have to be remastered mixes only because this mix on RM's record is far too clean to be like actual like classic hip hop. It has all the bones, but it's just like, oh, <laughs> man, did record this in a tomato can in a box Chevy. Like <laughs> it, it was recorded in a good studio or like some places with adequate technology of the time because back in the day, some of them records is rough and they sound good because they're rough like that. But that's where you start to notice like, ah. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. But it has such a really good vibe to it. I do like this one. Life. I, I, do, I don't know which song is my favorite yet. I can't pick yet. But he's got some really good ones that, like, I'm like, I didn't expect this. Again, another quality-ass project. I'm very glad that I've actually taken the time to listen to this boy's music. Because the more I listen to it, I'm like, because it's actually pretty cold. Like, to be fair, you try and check me on cuz, I'll be like... Just listen to Cuz. Give him a couple records. You can't tell me Cuz whack. You may not like it. Just like me, I don't like everything. But you're not going to sit and tell me this nigga whack. Because we got a lot of whack niggas running around here. And we're not calling them out. So you can't be calling my nigga out. Like, my my nigga, his back. Like, he come, you go get a verse off Cuz. You better come to work. If you don't come to work getting a verse off Cuz, it's going to be a long day. It's a long day. Long day, long week, long year. You don't want that. You don't want it. That said, that's it for me on this one. Thank you for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. And let's get into the next one. When I see you, I'm out of here. Peace.